Okay, so case one, moving source, source stationary observer for the Doppler effect. As you can see from our formula, we have F prime. That is where, once again, we are looking for the observed frequency compared to F, the actual frequency of the source, the speed, V, of sound and still air, and then whatever our speed of our source is. Okay, so in this case we have a siren of a car that moves uh, 28 meters per second emitting a sound of frequency 1250 hertz. The car is moving towards a stationary observer X and that's going to be our key here as to whether we use the plus or the minus. And we're going to calculate the frequency and the wavelength of sound observed by observer X and then they give us the speed of sound and still air. Okay, so let's set up our formula here. So we know that we're going to do F prime equals the speed, sorry, frequency times the speed over speed and US. The question is do we use the positive or the negative? Well since it's moving towards us, we're going to use the negative sign here. Okay, from there, like I said in class, these are just plug and chug problems. So we're going to put in our original frequency, our speed of sound and air that they do give us, our speed of sound and air once again that they give us, minus 28 meters per second, the speed of our moving source. Okay. If we put all of this in, we should get a number that would sig, sig figs would be 1360 hertz, and that is our frequency. The next part of this question is to calculate the wavelength of the sound. Okay, well we're going to calculate wavelength just as we have before using our wave equation. Okay, so wavelength is just velocity divided by our frequency. Now the question I have a lot of students ask is, okay, which velocity do I use? Do I use the 28 that the car is moving or do I use the speed of sound and air? Well, if you think about it for a second, we really want the speed of sound because that is what our wave is traveling through. Okay, we're traveling through air. So we want 340 meters per second over this calculated frequency that we observed. Okay, which leaves our observed wavelength to be about 0.25 meters. Sometimes if you look in um, other online resources, you'll see that this is considered, um, once again, lambda prime for, you know, the observed or apparent wavelength, so you would get apparent and apparent, but it still would equal together 340 meters per second.